Welcome back for the final time, journalists. This is the final lesson. You've made it this far. Uh, today, we're going to learn how to screencastify to record your screen because your assignment this time is to record yourself reading your best piece of work. So that's up to you to decide which piece of work is your best. Um, you'll know, probably be able to tell a little bit more from me giving you some feedback each week, and I hope that has helped you. Now, what is Screencastify, you might be saying? Well, we're going to get into that. Screencastify is an extension to Google that allows you to record your screen or self while you speak. You're probably like, huh? Well, now you're probably thinking, all right, so how do I use this? So first thing you want to do is open Google. Obviously, you have a Google icon on your screen. You want to click that. You need to type into a Google search, type in Chrome extensions, just like that. You want to search for a extension once you come up to the Google Web Store. You want to find screencastify all one word when you have found it it's going to ask if you want to add the chrome you definitely want to add it and you should after you add it have this icon that looks like this down here on your the top right of your screen it should be above where my arrow is right now okay once you have that you should be good to go and as you can see when i close out my presentation here, you'll see that there is this little icon here, Screencastify. Looks like a little piece of film. And mine will be lit up red because I'm recording right now. So uh, what? Well, you have to press the Screencastify button. I'm recording right now. So I can pause my recording, I can end my recording, and I can show a preview win window if I'd like. However, what you need to do is you need to press that icon when you are ready to present your work. So, for example, if you had, instead of this presentation up, let's say you had your, your journalism and broadcasting piece of work up, like your inf inf informing one, your persuasion one, your entertaining one, whichever one you have, and you're ready to read that off because you don't want to be filmed, all you have to do is press that Press that Screencastify icon up there, and there will be option, an option that's labeled Record Tab. Obviously, if anything comes up that wants to allow you to use your web camera, obviously you're going to have to allow it because it's asking you for your permission to. So when you press Allow, you will see that the webcam will be activated. When you do that, Recording the tab just by itself will just record whatever tab you have open at the time. So you want to make sure that you have what you want in front of you before you record. You can record another tab, however, you have to push some buttons in order to get to there. So you don't want to do that. And you can also record yourself reading your work out in front of you. However, I would probably suggest against that only because you would probably need it printed out in front of you on paper which you do not have most likely you probably just have the Chromebook in front of you and because you probably don't want to print your work out as well it would make it even harder so if you don't need to record yourself on camera you don't need to um, but that is a possibility as well if you want it in front of you and to be able to read it on camera and have your face being seen um, however, keep in mind that the rest of the class is going to uh, be viewing the videos as well as they will be posted, and I will be viewing them as well. So if you have your work in front of you and you are reading it, that is fine as well. But really what we're going to focus in on is expression this time. And of course, if you have any questions still about Screencastify or how to add it, I would take another look at the video one more time to see if you, maybe you missed something that I said. But you may also use the comment section on Google Classroom to ask for help. If I don't help, maybe someone else who knows a little bit more about it will be able to help you as well, because they will be able to comment back. But check back frequently for responses. Um, I will be looking back in during the week 
Um, Google Classroom is attached to my phone, to my computer. I will be able to see it at some point. I may not get back to you the minute after you post it, but I will try to get back to you as quickly as I can because I definitely want to help you out. And this is probably the hardest part of the class is to understand how to screencastify. But it's a really cool web tool that you can use. Um, it will be interesting to see uh, how they come about. Um, this is the first time in the district that I think students are using Screencastify to kind of broadcast their own writing. So um, if you have questions, feel free to ask. And if anyone sees someone struggling before I get to them, you can help them as well um, through the comment section if you get to them before I do. Um, best of luck. Any questions, please feel free to comment. And it's been a pleasure to have taught you in journalism and broadcasting. And I hope you learned a little bit about it and hope you join us next year because we're going to do a little bit more, um, uh, I hope, and uh, challenge you a little bit further. So I hope you enjoyed the class. All right, good luck with Screencastify. Again, ask me if you have any other questions.